Welcome to a series of podcasts from U Prime that will be in the public domain. So, what do we have today? So, given all the hype about uh, machine learning these days or data science for that matter, there's one thing I need to ask you. Who do you think is going to be successful in this field? Anyone who has the right amount of skills and training. Yeah. The key word is training. Skills, I mean, it's a very flippant term. People use it loosely and uh, interchangeably with a lot of things which are not actual skills so i would i would put the emphasis on training with a capital t basically it would mean that you have had classes uh, which are sort of the prerequisites for understanding the entire subject matter so the more training you have more prepared you are to be hands on with with this field so that's pretty much it anybody who has uh, sufficient training in uh, advanced mathematics especially linear algebra would be uh, well placed to have a good career in this field and has a, a tilt uh, he, one should have advanced understanding of linear algebra concepts and should have a tilt towards uh, applications but uh, considering the fact that right now you do get everything in libraries i mean you get for example a linear regression in as a library like as a function in python yeah so how would that make it useful for one to know linear regression i think uh, so so basically libraries are meant to kind of automate certain aspects of the job but then if you don't know what the libraries constitute or what's in them then i think you it's as good as like just programming you just add a library because someone asks you to and you know the mechanical aspects of writing pro- programs on that library but not really understanding the conceptual aspects of that library which has a higher vitality and uh, whose value in uh, let's say the job market is much higher right so you need to understand the concepts first if and then you can build your own stuff i mean if you don't understand the concept it's uh, it's, it's really a mechanical aspect to uh, import libraries and uh, plug in uh, uh, algorithms which have worked previously in different scenarios so i don't think that's a sufficient enough skill yeah and it's true that lots of computer science people lots of people who studied computer science are getting into machine learning these days yeah lots of uh, people who did computer science are getting into machine learning these days so considering that and the fact that machine learning is originally statistics who do you think has a better chance of winning in this field like a computer science guy or a statistician because machine learning is an intersection of both fields like there is a lot of programming right yeah the machine learning or in general data scientist is a person who is the best programmer amongst all the statisticians and is the best statistician amongst all the computer scientists so if you can you know be at the intersection of these two fields in, in in a manner that is sufficient to have significant advantage compared to your colleagues then you have a chance right and it's not like it's it's not really hard it, it these thing concepts have been around for quite some time so it shouldn't surprise a lot of people that these things are happening the way they are happening Yeah so so i think uh, both are well placed but if you are not from the computer sciences or if you're not from economics even economics is a very good prerequisite yeah uh, to do statistics so or to do machine learning so i would say economics machine uh, economics mathematics statistics computer science these are like the four branches whose training will place you in a manner that is befitting to a role that can be called a machine learning engineer so you told me about this 50 year old guy who actually asked you if he could intern for a machine learning role so do you think he'd be suitable for such a uh, well, first of anyone can do this i mean it's not like uh, it's significantly hard but the problem that i st- uh, the point that i want to stress very clearly and i'm 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 hoping to be as eloquent as possible because this needs to be conveyed in the clearest of terms is the fact that uh, what you require is training and if you haven't been trained by people the mere logical skills won't be sufficient yeah. I, i i i've had people who would say that i solve math problems or uh, and i i coach uh, high school students to do their 10th standard mathematics won't that be sufficient mathematics to handle this and the answer is clearly no i mean it's not like it's 
not logical. It's just that you need training. Right of having taken courses, of systematically having at least have some idea about these concepts in an academic setting. And uh, I mean, you can uh, perfectly do this uh, all by yourself, but the chances of them beating somebody who is not from this academic setting are very less. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for listening to this podcast. I hope you come back for more podcasts. Thank you.